<laughs> yeah. yeah. Very glad it's the weekend. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we don't have Trisha, aka Donna Shello, today. Yes. Correct. Um, but the rest of us are here. Um, do we want to do what we did last time and brief character overview again? Yeah, uh, why not? Let's good warm idea. Up. <laughs> yeah. You first. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Uh, I am playing Rune, uh, an elderly owl teacher. Uh, he is talkative and creative, but uh, he is no longer spry and he can never be renowned. Uh, he has a satchel of books, a dusty blazer, a journal full of notes, and a very comfortable hat. Mm -hmm. um, and he teaches particularly history, taught from controversial books, philosophy, taught through Socratic seminars, and radical and rebellious politics taught secretly, but he really wishes he could teach a endangered uh, traditional language that is taught only through conversation. Ooh. Aren't you fancy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, who is next? I can go next. Uh, I am playing Don, one of the two firelights in our party. Uh, Don is a uh, possum. Uh, he tries to be endlessly patient and here for everyone uh, and knows he can't be consistently correct or everywhere at once. Wears a wide brim hat that covers his eye and patchwork work pants. His firefly is secretly a lightning dancer named Aurora. Well, kind of secretly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Spoilers from last secretly. episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, the flame that he keeps keeps lit is a pack of smokes for his poetic love, or that remind him of his poetic love. And the light that went out long ago was the passion in his heart for the rebellion. And uh, I, as the other part of this uh, firelight duo, I am Dusk. I am a tiger. A, a little young tigerlet with uh, the colors inverted, so black with orange stripes. Uh, I will be a good judge of character. I will be enough. I will not be consistently correct, and nor will I be strong and manly. Um, I have shining eyes that pierce the dark. I have a fun little deck of playing cards that I like to do, comfy gloves, uh, and and my my firelight. Uh, the amazing uh, dark light firefly is someone who came to me in my darkest moment and they've stuck with me ever since and they're confident and pensive. Uh, the light I keep lit is the passion in my heart that burns for the rebellion and the light that died long ago is the rusted iron lantern, lantern my mom carried before me. I, yeah. All right. All right. I am Taryn. I'm playing Thierry, the terrier poet, uh, who is often taken for pretentious and formal. Uh, they're actually rather really kind of casual and sometimes a bit obscure. Um, and they dress in practical plaid pants with a many pocketed cloak. And uh, they're, they carry a tattered briefcase, kind of an old, like, it's been around, actually battered is, is more of a, the correct word there. Uh, it's a battered briefcase and it's got like, a lot of their writings and stuff uh and from all the writing they've done their hands are ink stained um let's see am i what am i missing uh their influences are kind of all the different things around them the trees the bugs you know all the different people various folks that they encounter um kind of make up the bulk of what they write about um but that is influenced by like the seasons 
and how their this how the changing seasons change uh, them and the people around them. And there's also a fallen star that sometimes visits them in their dreams. Oh. I want to know more about that. <laughs> that uh, influences their writing style. and well, we'll work on our location and see maybe that's where that'll take us. Hmm. Um, brief so. recap of last time, maybe? Yeah. Um, well, we can... There are questions we can answer before uh, going on our journey, right? And one of right. them is, what sort of place did we just travel from? So, right. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> um, we the were on a boat. Dimension. Yeah, we were on a <laughs> boat where we all had a, uh, a dream together. Um, the location was a lonely place. Uh, it was uh, had the mirror graveyard and mirage uh, elements. Um, so it was both the very edge of the world itself, uh, included the day the dead danced with us, and the palace of saturine dead. Um, so each of us confronted uh, sort of an alternate version of ourselves um, and uh, came to terms with something important about ourselves, basically. Uh, that is a brief summation. Um, so where are we going next? I don't know. What are we feeling today? So I realized something since mm -hmm. last yeah. time. We didn't. Oh. It's fine because it's it was still fun. And that's really oh, what's sure. important. But we didn't really build our place correctly. We're supposed to pick three different natures and then oh. one of the aspects in each. Okay. Oh. Well, I guess we'll do it that way this time. Yeah. yeah. Which makes sense because it gives us way more options and combinations and whatnot. All right. I, mean, I think we were going slow, building up to three. It's it's yeah. fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That all, all right. worked out. So we have, we can either roll for these or pick them. We have comfortable, verdant, liminal, sprawling, lonely, or desolate. Does, before mm. we start, does anyone have a specific one they're feeling, or should we roll and kind of randomize this a bit? Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Well, okay. We haven't. We've done comfortable. We've done lonely. We've, we've yeah. done lonely and desolate and liminal and verdant as well. And verdant. So. Start with done sprawling? sprawling. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And do we want to roll randomly in there or should I list them off and we'll pick one? List them off. I like, right. I like hearing about all of them. I know, right? <laughs> uh, so we have just going to the right page here. Uh, carnival. Uh, carnival is a place of celebration and decadent celebration, decadence and excitement. We have a castle. A castle is a place designed to keep everything else far outside its walls. A furnace. A furnace burns hot with the force of furious and creative fire. Ooh. A metropolis. A metropolis is a place where a lot of people live and where many communities sit side by side. A palace. A palace is a place ruled by power. It is beautiful yet empty. Or a university. A university is a place where many gather to learn from ancient texts. I was very vocal last time, so I'm like, gonna resist. A lot of good ideas stuff. in there. <laughs> I think since the last place kind of had a palace and castle of illusions thing, maybe mm -hmm. stay away from those two. Great. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So then we got Carnival, Furnace, Metropolis, or University. Can we merge furnace and university? They feel just so weird. Like <laughs> when combined, I'm like, can we figure out how to do it? Well, why don't we make those two of the three and then pick one from another nature? Sounds yeah. good to me. So we got sprawling, we got furnace. So a furnace can uh, always uh, da -da -da, describe the stifling heat. Hi. Everybody. Heat. Uh, it can raise tensions caused by intolerable conditions. 
And it can always ask, will the forge what or will you forge what once was broken? And if you try, you can gain a token. Ah, uh, tokens. The thing that theoretically exists that we don't really understand <laughs> how to use. Yeah. I think we're having fun without it. <laughs> yeah. I think somebody used we're... it once. Oh, yeah. I think I, and that yeah. was it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, we're and... slowly adding the correct rules as we <laughs> It's yeah, figuring it out. Yeah. It's fine. All right, so we got two aesthetic elements. I will mm. list these off here. We have walls of iron tools, ornate glassworks, a legendary blade left unfinished, an imaginative apprentice still learning the craft, a mighty smith with a burning grudge, or something of our own design. I think you did. You say a seething flaming forge. Uh no, I did not. Walls of iron tools, ornate glassworks, huh. a legendary blade left unfinished. I think maybe the PDF is missing a line. Huh. The, the first one on mine is a seeding flaming forge. Ooh, interesting. Huh. Yeah. Oh, weird. Well, um, just add it to the list. Yeah. Uh, I think we should take either the apprentice or the smith because I think building an actual character in would be nice this time. Yeah, I, I like that. Now, the only question yeah, is both. do we want the glasswork or do we want it to be with tools? I mean, Taryn, what do you think? I do you think... have any preferences? Let's see. I am actually don't have any preferences on that. Um, Because that could go both ways. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like the blade, because that adds some blade. Okay. Yeah. Where did the, what's the background of the blade? And yeah. Maybe that's what the grudge is about. Yeah. There we go. So we got the blade and the smith. Mm hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. Folklore about this then, place. Yeah, we got some folklores here. We have the Eternal Forge and its Iron Servants, uh, the Heaven Blade and its construction, the Binding of the Slobbering God, or something of our own invention. <laughs> the Binding of the Slobbering God. Can someone like elaborate on that? Is that I am imagining a giant uh, uh, St. Bernard. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, my uh, God. Its drool is used as the water that they use to is... cure the... Yeah. The oh, yeah. Get out of that's, my head. That's it. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. Our, our forge god is a St. Bernard. I'm all over it. All right. And then we were going to do... Was it University. Uh, yeah. One sec. Oh yeah. Should we mm -hmm. come up with a name for the mighty Smith? Ooh. Since they will, they're a character. They'll be present, and we'll need a kin for them. Like what? Uh... Let's. I think we should do that after we pick all our places because that'll tell us a lot more okay. about. Uh... Okay. All right. I'm all right Sounds with good. that. Okay. Yeah. And we wanted to do a university, right? Yeah. University. So the. It can uh, describe the vast amounts of knowledge still left to learn. I'm just typing these out and then I can post them in the chat so everybody can check them out. So uh, show conflict between differing philosophies and viewpoints. Mm -hmm. I really like that because maybe the, maybe the heaven's blade is, uh, you know, it's not quite heaven's blade maybe it's a hell's blade or like yeah. different versions of heaven <laughs> always possible and then it can also ask do you want to learn a difficult or painful truth and you gain a token if you listen okay that sounds intense i'm liking this <laughs> all right it's a heaven's then, blade right yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we yeah. did, yeah, a le we did a legendary blade left unfinished and a mighty smith, and then we did the binding of the slobbering god, did we not? 
Yes. yes. The okay. No heaven blades, but that's fine. Okay, um, I gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. No heaven blade. No, no we didn't blade. pick that one unless we want to oh. have two. I mean, is there's nothing stopping us Look. from having two lores or fables? Look. No heaven blade, because that's what he's working on. <laughs> it's not done yet. It's not done. Oh, Maybe it'll be the like heaven that. blade. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, aesthetics. Uh, we have a grassy campus quad, two small dormitories, vast banquet hall with many long tables, statues of the founders in all their glory, an inquisitive and inquisitive and hopeful kid who doesn't want to be here, or a witchy professor whom you once called a mentor. Do we want one character? Or do we want two? I mean, I feel like, do we want a mentor for a witchy professor who was a mentor for Chad's character? Mm. Yeah, right? I was thinking that. I, I'm okay with that. Maybe this is one of my old stomping grounds. Okay. I do feel like I like the idea of a grassy campus quad. <laughs> By a forge. Yeah. Sweet. Well, are the so- leaves all like, uh, uh, like orangey, like autumn color, like all year round? Maybe. Oh yeah. Maybe the quad is called the forge, and the forge itself is more of a like an idea or a, mm. they, that's the thing, right? They don't have to be. They can be metaphorical. Yeah, that's it's where I ideas are that. forged. Oh, I love that so much. <laughs> there could be a bit of both, like an alchemical. <gasps> yeah. Furnace I mean, too. there can definitely be a guy making a sword at a university. That's fine mm-hmm. too. Uh, all right. Um, and then we have folklores. There is the founders and their petty squabbles, the forbidden society of the theater hall, that one prank that got too far, <laughs> too out of hand, or something oh. of our own invention. Well, I, I, I like both the forbidden society and that one prank. Yeah. How about the Forbidden Society that performed a prank? Well, why not? Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. Or, or the prank that was pulled on the Forbidden Society. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I love the intrigue there. It's like, how did yeah. you know everyone in the society to make them all sit on cream pies? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, it, I, I also feel like it is better if the prank is very silly. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. No seriousness allowed. We we did Ooh. we did plenty of that last time. Um, it's a little bit of it's a little, little seriousness. So do we want to? And then we're gonna do a nature that's not. What are we looking at here? Go back to the top. So that was in sprawling. So. Shall I just roll a dice and we can pick a random element? I'll roll it twice. Okay. You can get the the nature and then the actual specifics and work it in. Sounds good. Good idea to me. Verdant nature. Okay. And a lagoon. A lagoon. Excellent. All right. Let's go to lagoon. Yeah, okay, well. a lagoon is a place of contemplation, introspection, and self-reflection. Uh, this place can describe the water and the tiny creatures in it. Uh, it can make matters worse through people's inaction. And it can ask, what have you been thinking about lately? And give them a token for their thoughts. I feel like the lagoon could be a nice counterpoint to the kind of the furnace quad and like be somewhere under the university. A place oh, of yeah. Kind of, like, uh, um, oh, well, I, I mean, basically, you're just calling the calling one of the aesthetics right off the chart before I even say it. Uh, a hidden oh. grotto, maybe? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, So yeah, the aesthetics are mossy stones, a hidden grotto, a glorious waterfall, a rare and mysterious flower, a well-worn path, or a watchful creature who hides from the outside. (gasps) Ah. Okay, I love the hidden grotto, and I love a watchful creature who hides from the outside. We're just going to make three characters today. I'm (laughs) I'm in for that. Are we actually doing that? We don't have to do that. No, we should do that. (laughs) Okay. 
All right. Okay. And then we have some folklore. Uh, we have the gift of the heaven blade. What? <laughs> <laughs> the teacher who lives within the rocks. Uh, again, that's a universe. Why are, why do we have heaven blade and, and teacher when it we've just, done forging university? This is eerie. Don't, don't question it. Just, just go <laughs> with it. Just enjoy. Uh, the waterfall's broken heart or something of your own invention. Oh, the waterfall's broken heart. Sorry. I need to stop jumping in on things, but like that <laughs> phrase is just like tugging at me. <laughs> the thing to remember is if we don't get to one we want, we can always try and make a point of doing a lagoon again with That's different contexts. Yeah. For sure. So I guess we can make it official with this Heaven's Blade business and pick that one. Sounds good to me. The gifting of the heaven blade. Okay. So that gets all of our places. Just going to do that and that. that. Okay. Is this lagoon like, like a geothermal hidden grotto kind of thing who knows um we'll we'll figure it out when we get there chat i don't feel like geothermal i feel like in like kind of opposition to the forge which i imagine is often warm mm -hmm. and, and maybe welcoming the lacoon is a bit cooler it's a refreshing place mm -hmm. i like that and maybe a bit lonely sometimes mm -hmm. but like the type of place someone goes when they want to be lonely Mm -hmm. oh, wow. All right. Uh, so probably do we want a great place to study, honestly. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> do we want to fully make out make these characters, um, or just make the like pick a? Da, 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 da. I feel like we could do that. What does everyone else think? I feel like we could easily make them or develop them as we go or whatever we want. Um, but I, I do feel like, Chad, Yes. you need to tell us about this witchy professor. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm thinking uh, they probably taught subjects that I did not love and we did not get along so well. Uh, mm -hmm. I think they're very artsy and I'm very not. Okay. So an so, art professor. Yeah. So are they, are they a rat or are they like a wolf? Are they pray or are they pray? Hmm. So I guess they would also be a teacher. So what are the other options for teacher? I just want to look at what it says here. Or are they also an owl like you? That is a possibility. Um, it says it could be a wise animal or an attentive animal. Um, I think a wise wolf might make yeah. sense. Let's make it a make make them a wolf. Mm. We need a name for them and pronouns. Mm. Let me think. She might be named. So wait, what what subjects do you not like? Uh, I'm not an artsy person. Not an artsy um, person. I'm thinking Gloria. Okay. A wise wolf named Gloria. Mm -hmm. Okay. For some reason, I think she really loves pottery. I don't know I'm why. Game. That's I in love my head. pottery. You can there forge. You Potteries need kilns, so that's yeah. kind of like a forge. Here Look at go. that. <laughs> <laughs> Can anybody else hear Taryn? Because I no. believe they're talking, but I can't hear Are them. Taryn, I think you might be muted. Yes, I was. Okay. Oh, no. I, I was like, Taryn hasn't spoken for a while. Yeah, uh, I was. Um. 
Yeah, it sounds like the kind of person that would be right up Tia- Terry's alley. <laughs> yeah, Perfect. exactly. Yeah. He'll get along great. Um, so let's see. I did that. Who wants to tell us about the Smith or the watchful creature? Ter- Taryn, would you like to take either of them? Since I think we missed some of the things you were saying earlier. <laughs> see. I think the watchful creature is like, hmm, that's a good question. Like, it's kind of a, it's not like a watchful creature in the sense of, like, oh shoot, but it's it's kind of like a, a guardian of the lagoon, you know. It's and and of the area in general. Um, you know, mm-hmm. it's kind of always kind of watching out for the place, the lagoon, the you know, the area at large. There's a guardian playbook. That is true. You're right. I was going to say, we <laughs> so if you want to flip to that, you can even use that. Of course, the guardian in this case, it's more of a guardian of the place, and and uh-huh. like the guardian playbook is kind of a guardian of one charge. Yeah, fair enough. Um, as in in the sense of the playbook, but this is kind of more of a a more broad guardian, more of the place. What about like well, um. And more of a guardian spirit or like a, like maybe yeah. an yeah. insect spirit because those seem to be kind of like animal I wanna, spirits. Equivalents. I want to counter the insect spirit mm. with adding a connection to the slobbering god if they're pups of some kind. So, so like the spirit would be a pup or like, many pups? Either one. I just, I guess I got golden triggers on the brain. Like imagine, <laughs> you know, this lagoon thing, golden treasures love to swim, you know, the very, that would make sense. Yeah. Great guard dogs. And, you know, they might not just be guarding the grotto. They could be guarding some knowledge. Like I'm getting the feeling like the heaven's blade is not an actual blade. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're thinking the Guardian's a golden retriever? Are we on board for that? Sounds good to me. Is it specifically like golden retriever like pups? Or is it like fully grown? Or what are we thinking here? If it's a Guardian like they were suggesting, then I'm thinking um, it would have to be grown up. But that's just me. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I think that elf also fits more with watchful, right? Mm -hmm. It's like a a younger spirit, I feel like, would be more willing to interact and and always be playing and what mm-hmm. have you. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then we have a smith. Mm. Big old bear. <laughs> like, like a black bear? Yeah. <laughs> that checks out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are they With a ex- scar over one eye? Are they exceedingly tall or are they exceedingly short? Definitely hmm. They're definitely like big built. Maybe not exceedingly short, but kind of short, short-ish as bears go. Stocky. But very stocky. Very yeah. <laughs> All right. I think that more or less covers it. Does it not? What about the Smith's grudge. What is the grudge about? Mm. Oh, I think we should find out during play. All right. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll spin that when we come to it. Good what idea. Should we call this place, this university. Mm. I mean, or we could just call it the Forge. Yeah, the university is just called the Forge. I like it. Yep. Or the Forge of Knowledge, or yeah. something. 
grand right, and ridiculous. Or it forges the youth, like yeah, the crucible. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Are we gonna go with the crucible then? I like it. <laughs> go. It's intense for a school, but I like it. <laughs> I mean. Schools are pretty intense sometimes. <laughs> Don't I know it? All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, we were on a boat and we had a compass pointing us across the water. And then we all fell into a shared dream and then woke up on the other coast. Yes. Is it the but- other coast in the lagoon? Um, I know we were on a lake, but it could end in a lagoon, potentially. I don't know. I feel like the re- lagoon is a bit more reclusive, like probably not somewhere you could just like get to with a boat. Yeah, you were thinking, we were thinking well, it was like an a, a hidden grotto. But I mean, I mean the well, other the, thing, too, is there is a question before we start, too. One of oh, the right. other questions is, um, do we feel our journey has been long? Has time passed? Or has it been just a f- you know, a day or a few hours. Hmm. Uh, I'm thinking personally, like a few hours, like we got off the boat and just had to walk a little bit before we got to. Okay. So Don is feeling a bit raw still, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm. And, and I think we decided before we hit streaming that uh, uh, Donna Shallow is still sleeping. Um, and being carried around by their bumbles. Hmm. All right. All right. The crucible. All right. Shall we? <laughs> shall we begin? <laughs> yeah. Where shall we begin? Let's get started. Good idea. <clears throat> We've been. I, I, I kind of think we traveled a little bit like from the boat or did. I think yeah. that we traveled like how those pirates did, like to that ether world and just like somehow ended up here. So we Yeah, that sounds somewhere. about right. So we just wake up somewhere else. All right. I'm, I'm okay with that. And maybe that's like we when we ended last time. Um, I know my rune wasn't totally uh, resolved on some things, so maybe it dropped us here on purpose. That's somewhere I'd Ooh. been before. <laughs> I like Possibly, that. I like that a lot. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and be the furnace for a moment. <laughs> We awake in a stifling heat. It's warm and dry, and after our experience in kind of the mirror palace fog dimension or dream or whatever it was, uh, it's quite shocking to wake up. We were, you know, even before that, we were on cool waters. Now we are warm and far from any lake that we know about at least at this point and i think we're all a bit confused i believe rune is definitely confused and then even more confused because rune recognizes this place how did we get here oh i don't know it's certainly Certainly hot enough. Mm. It always was warm here. I've uh, I've been here before. Have you? Oh, that, then where is this place? It's a university that I attended. Hmm? It's called the Crucible. Is it always this bright? Yes, actually, it is. <laughs> I gotta find some shade. Oh, this is a lot, and I'm not yeah. built for heat. 
Ah, uh, <laughs> there's got to be shade somewhere. Uh, we could always go into the school. That's a good idea. Let's get out of the heat. Figure out what we're doing. I guess while we're here, why don't you tell us a story about this place from your time here? Well, there was a particularly uh, funny prank that was pulled uh, once I, when I was a student here. Um, the uh, <laughs> They uh, changed, uh, there was a, a, a theater group and um, they had uh, made made a few too many enemies of some students, so they replaced all of their costumes with identical costumes that were a size too large. <laughs> yeah. Oof. <laughs> Oof. I'm sure that went over like a lead balloon. <laughs> they were a little upset. Yeah, I can imagine but it must have been pretty funny to see the look on their faces. Uh, it was rather funny. Uh, for a moment, some of them thought they had suddenly shrunk overnight. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, where's the... Okay. Where's the, where's the, where's the cafeteria? I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> oh, this way, this way. And Rune will lead everyone into the building and through the halls, which I'm sure is bustling with students. Ooh, whoa. There's so many. Ah, ah, so many weird, cool, weird, cool. Ah. You know, we may never need a decision about what kind of folk tend to be around here. So what are, are most of the students or the locals? I think because it's a university and they come from all over the place, there's just kind of a little bit of everybody. All right. So we got salamanders and birds and rats and yeah, probably even some tigers, mm. ferrets, everything. <sighs> nice. Uh, we there yet? I'm hungry. Uh, we're coming. We're getting there. All right. Um, yeah, I, I believe we'll come upon a cafeteria, which has many offerings for the many types of kin and kith and kin that attend. Is it always so busy here? Uh, not always. Um, once classes are in session, it tends to calm down a little bit. I think we may have uh, hit in between classes. Ah, that makes sense. Well, after we get some food, I'm going to find a quiet spot. I think I need a... Uh... You all experienced that too, right? That wasn't just me. Mm, the foggy dream palace place. <laughs> yeah. The same. Mm. Yeah. Indeed. Oh yeah. It was fun. I let's go again. <laughs> I think you and me had very different experiences there, Dusk. Mm. The the dancing was fun. That was better than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. Everything before that was, well, everything before the moments before that were pretty unpleasant. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry you struggled, my friend. The uh, past is not always pretty. Uh, I'll, I'll be all right. I just need some time to decompress. And for me, it's difficult with all of these people about is that you, Rune? Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. I thought I'd never see your face here again. What are you doing here? If only I knew. <laughs> Ms. Gloria, long time <sighs> no see. Yeah, 
Yes, yes. How long has it been? Thirty mm-hmm. mm-hmm. some odd years. Book. You still owe me that book. I told you I never borrowed a book. Mm-hmm. You were the only one in my office, but in- anyway, who are your friends? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, friends. Uh, this was one of my instructors. She uh, teaches art, uh, pottery in particular. Uh, ah. This is Thierry, the poet. Mm-hmm. Nice Greetings. Mm-hmm. Hello. And <laughs> these are Dusk and Dawn. Uh, they are guides, firelights. Mm, nice to meet you both. Mm, mm, uh, and, interesting. Little. And mm, mm. this is, this is uh, uh, Donicello. Uh, they're a little sleepy. <laughs> If you can't wake up and say hi. Hello. I'm just knocking um, on the shell. Hello. I, I, we went through some things. I, I don't think they'll be joining us today. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Well, the the path we took to get here was a little, uh, perhaps unconventional. <laughs> Well, I am the master of unconventional. Please tell me all about it. Hey, why don't you all join me in my office for lunch? How, how about that? Hmm? I suppose we could do that. <clears throat> Will there be less people around? Well, maybe. Uh, a couple of students are working on their final projects and it, it, it'll be fine. All right. I, I guess I should give you the tour. Please, toll. please, Gloria. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, in fact, you do this tour with me. Hmm? Hmm? If you still know the way. Hmm. I still can't believe they didn't kick you out for that prank. Are you kidding me? Wait, 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 wait. Hmm? You did the prank, right? <laughs> I was involved. <laughs> involved. He was a mastermind behind the whole thing. Were you now? Hmm? Uh, the, the, the truth. The, the the art students and the the academics uh, frequently had a bit of bitter rivalry. Mm, bitter rivalry, indeed. <laughs> this is cut by Don's laugh, which starts off slowly and quietly and becomes just a cackle as they <laughs> fall over and just start rolling like. It's so <laughs> shocking and funny that it was room behind this to them. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, laugh it up. Ha, I ha, never ha, would have I feel better. <laughs> well, here we are. I just got a little good charcuterie spread over here, and why don't you all pull up to uh to um, you know, the things. Indeed. Yeah. Ah. So she's gonna she's gonna go th- throw down like clay on each of the spinning wheel things. I forgot the name of that. <laughs> so the, the Potter's wheel. It's a wheel. Yeah. yeah. It's just a wheel. All it's right. just a wheel. Yeah. 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 Her 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 office is just like. Full of full of all the stuff, full of all kinds of ceramic glory. Yes, and in fact, there is. I would say her greatest achievement is this very beautiful interpretation of of uh, the bear, the bear forge. You mm. may or may not have a little thing. How? Did you read my mind? Because I was literally thinking about that. Wow. <laughs> I do that sometimes. You're welcome. <laughs> ah, well, Rune. Ah, I see you haven't changed that much. Hmm. Oh, I believe I've changed quite a lot. Thank you. Oh, sure, sure. How, uh, how are you and your skills? You know you were the best potter in my class. I cannot believe you gave it up. Why? Why? Well, I will have you know that I raised many, or taught many of the leaders of the revolution. Hmm. 
well, all right, fine. It's a good reason. <laughs> no, 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 no. Theory, no, gently. You know, use a little bit more. You know, get your get your fang in there if you need to. <laughs> Still. I, I believe you wanted to hear about how we ended up here. Yes. Um, do you mind was... if I if I use my wheel as you do it? I I, I so love to sculpt the story. Hmm. Uh, I remember. Um. I believe we traveled through part of the spirit realm, surprisingly enough. You did what? What? Mm. No. Really? Uh, yeah, yes. somehow somehow tied to our, our friend's uh, fireflies, I believe. Those? Those? Mm. Oh. Oh. Did you run in? Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Ow. She's like clamoring over to get something way back in the office. You hear certain ceramics fall to the ground and shatter, but it <laughs> pays her no mind. And then she comes <laughs> pulls out this like little statue. Did you happen to Does this ring a bell at all? Um, I'm assuming it was the big statue that the firefly sat in the eyes of. Yes. Mm. Uh, one in the same. Yes, we did see that. Oh, spoke to us. It, mm -hmm. it did what? Yeah, outside of a palace. Oh, oh, this is, oh, 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 oh! You know who this is, right? You know who this is. Our Lady Valkyrie. Are you kidding me? She gifted the world the Great Heaven's Blade. Uh, that Gosh. is not a myth I'm familiar of. Oh, uh, I'll be darned. Studies. <laughs> You're not <laughs> right. Huh. Well. I hadn't quite caught it when I saw it last, but. You, yes, yes, you know the story. T tell them. <clears throat> The what did you call her? The lady of uh, Lady Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Mm -hmm. So yes, the Lady Valkyrie gifted the Heaven's Blade to. a great leader who was able to rise up and use it correctly. Mm, yes. If one used it in the traditional sense of standard, you know, combat, it was It was brutal. Mm. But when used to create, it could shape anything mm. into the most beautiful and wondrous images and it was through these images that the people learned the ways that could truly keep tyranny at bay mm. such fine true words mm. yeah should listen to your companions more, Rune. I always pay them heed. Good, um, then I taught you well. I respect mm. their differences. They know they know much that I do not. 
I'm honestly surprised that I'd never heard that before. It seems like there's parable parallels with the revolution that we would have heard it more often. Well, you know how it goes. It's it's myth, it's sometimes legend with a little bit of history. It's all hmm. It's definitely more grounded in the practical in my my studies of politics and history. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. But, but the space of spirit cannot be forgotten. Mm. It was like definitely beyond my information. <laughs> I like this one a lot. <laughs> very smart, very clever. Mm, of course you oh. like the poet. <laughs> oh, oh, and look at this. <laughs> look at this beautiful piece you made. Oh, oh, can I put it on display? We're, we're having an art show later, please. <gasps> By please. all means. Oh, thank you. You're most welcome. And and you little possum. I, I didn't get your name. It's Don. Don. Why do you look so sullen? I can see how sad your clay is drooping. It makes me sad. You don't want to make me sad, do you? I think that might be because I haven't touched it. I've been eating. <laughs> I was told there would be lunch, and that's that's the yes. main thing I'm worried about right now well you can do more than one thing what's what's on your mind hmm? i'm sure you've heard the stories of the heavens played as well yes Maybe just just different. now um no no it, i'm i'm well past my years of wanting to talk about swords it is no sword it is often misconceived as a sword and that is where it became and, and where it becomes that is why it is often misunderstood. Mm. So true. If it's not a sword, what is it? Hmm. A knife? An axe? A scalpel? Think of, think of something. Think of something else that could cut through. Perhaps even worlds themselves. They look like they're taking a a long moment to think about it and then go, like a bandsaw? (laughs) This one is so literal. It's adorable. I like this one. No. Look, it's not very well documented if you will but lots of things were said in song and 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 epics and and whatnot you'll have to let it come to you yes uh, i'm curious what has what has dusk made with the clay what has dusk made because you, oh. you know oh god they got in there yeah <laughs> um it's just a giant mess it i just it's really that don had more fun spinning the wheel than playing with the clay so now there's just bits everywhere uh and and as uh glory looks over oh you made my work even better oh just some you know the weird jackson pollock style stuff like that happened in one corner of the room on some on some other ceramic so you know, as as what happens. <laughs> Collaborative art. <laughs> Don starts kind of pumping the, the wheel to make the table turn. Mm. Um, but that leaves the clay, but Aurora flies down and seems to be like occasionally moving in and eventually it's like a very like elegant, tall lantern. <gasps> That's well, look. All you have to do is listen to your little one. That's the Heaven's Blade. Aurora's the Heaven's Blade? No, no, no. Not quite. All oh. the, did you ever wonder, once, Rune, why we feel like pottery is so important to the, to the Crucible? No. Oh. I'm going to... I'm going to intercede for a second here uh, Mm -hmm. and take a university action. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I think outside the door, we hear 
uh, a conflict between different philosophies being the academic, the more academic, literal minded student actively <laughs> being pranked by an art student. Beautiful. And I think the, the door is open slightly and we see just kind of like a puff of like a colorful dust through the air and then no. just hear somebody swearing. Oh, that's going to take a hundred years to get out of my office. How many times do I have to tell you just don't use glitter? Well, she, well, was it Gloria is kind of going off on the students. Don looks around and goes, I'm going to go find some place quiet. It takes a few t- things of it's like, this food. has been very intense for me. <laughs> <laughs> he, he finds a window and kind of just hops out of it and is gone. Um, oh. Rune's going to go over. Uh, he can't really fly anymore, but he's going to like wave his wings towards the puff of whatever and clear out the hallway. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Oh, thank you. Oh, There's geez. a student standing in the middle of it. There, a fox wearing kind of like a just like a pair of like nice slacks and a button-up shirt that was white, and are they are completely like pink and glittery from this dust. <laughs> They're just looking in horror down at themselves. Oh boy. <gasps> Reginald! <laughs> and they run <laughs> off in pursuit of their pranker. I love that so much. It's so cute. Aww. Nice. I like See, it hasn't changed much around here. No, it never does. But I suppose that is the best thing about being here. Mm. Mm. Wait, where did your Don't... friend go? Where did all my food go? <laughs> oh Don. <laughs> so okay. anyways, um mm-hmm. what's what... uh going on uh with the metalwork teacher these days? Oh they're not? Mm. Well, you know, we had a thing off and on, and right now we're in a little bit of an on spell. Oh. <laughs> as you know. Um I'm no longer Miss Gloria. I'm Mrs. Gloria. Oh, oh. awesome. Mm. Congratulations. Yes, it was an excellent honeymoon, and she'll just go on and I on see. and has no filter. I'll see he hasn't calmed you down at all. I see he hasn't calmed you down at all. <laughs> oh, you can't tame a wolf, child. No. <laughs> That's kind of hard that to do. He likes it that way. We work. Oh, where where was I? I don't even. Anyway, yes. What are you doing here? Well, what, what... well we were led by a compass that uh, I believe my friend just took off with. Hmm. Oh no! <laughs> uh, I'm sure he didn't get too far. He seemed very skittish around me. I don't. Well. I guess I have that effect on some folk. He's, I think, had a bit of a rough go in our last, or during our travels. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear mm-hmm. that. How about you both? Well, and the sleepy one, and the one who's just so fascinated with the wheel. Tap, tap. Uh, all right, no, I guess he'll just keep going. Um, <laughs> Why don't you all take a lovely, cool bath in the, you know. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Hmm. It has healing all properties. Right. Mm-hmm. All right, Just come. To... Yeah. Come along, everyone, and I'll uh, guide everyone out. And actually, we're going to hop out the window and see if we can chase down Dawn. There was okay. a door! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it don't seem like the door would be easier for you anyway, Rune. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this is a good moment to cut away for a moment. This is a good yeah, moment to cut away. Yeah. Let's see where you get to. Yeah, Dawn is like holding the compass, holding these 
has taken his hat off and is holding a bunch of the food in it and is following the compass, which I think very quickly, which eventually leads them to the lagoon. And they look around. Oh, this is perfect. And proceeds to go and find kind of like a little overhang on a rock to the side and sit down where no one can see them. <laughs> Put down the compass and start eating the food, including the wrapping, because they're they're a possum. They eat garbage. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, the wrapping was clay. <laughs> <laughs> um I think that uh sitting there eating and uh he hears a voice. I think it's pretty perfect too. Can I have some? <laughs> Oh, there's a golden retriever pops out of the water. <laughs> so is this like a golden retriever that's like an actual dog or a golden retriever that's like a dog person like all of us are animal people? I think a dog person for sure. Okay. Like you may have some. Thank you. Why were you in the water? I live here. Oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> what what would you like? There's there's some sausage here, some mushrooms, some cheese. I like cheese. <laughs> well then it's yours, my friend. And he kind of oh, gently lobs the cheese at the the dog. So um, I'm Don. This is Aurora. What's your name? Damn it. Names are the worst. Tango. His name is Tango. We're naming him after the golden retriever I had as a child, I guess. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tango I'm Tango. Works. Nice to meet you, Tango. Nice to meet you, Don. And Aurora. Aurora kind of like floats happily. Hmm. Um... So, you live in this lagoon? Yes. Like, in the water? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. I've seen weirder things in the last couple of days, and you seem nice, so uh, if you want to hang out, I'm trying to just trying to calm down, have a moment of, of peace and quiet, but I, I'm definitely come in the water if you want to calm down uh, i'm supposed to wait 30 minutes after i eat <laughs> just like a piece of like <laughs> meanwhile that's, it's like that's for swimming friend you don't need to swim you can just sit in the water he kind of rolls up his pant legs like i'm not gonna sweat but sit but i'll, I'll stand in the water and uh, I'll do the, uh, I think the describe the water and the tiny creatures in it. There's like little, like um, those like water skitters that go on the top of the water, kind of float past your ankles and stuff, but the water feels very cool and refreshing. <laughs> like this is the perfect moment. Mm -hmm. For Dust to come crashing in, <laughs> screaming at the top of his lungs. Yeah! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Tango vanishes under the water immediately at the sound of the yelling. <laughs> what you doing? They get up kind of like dripping wet from being presumably like just full on tackled. By yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and somehow Dusk is not wet. Just what magical cat tackle. Mm -hmm. Well, I was trying to have kind of a, a quiet moment of solitude, um, though. Also, I was talking to Tango, who is 
<laughs> Actually, Who's I feel gone? like that was <laughs> that was an unintentional lagoon action because it says makes matters worse through people's inaction. You weren't doing anything, so <laughs> I beg your pardon. I was having a moment of quiet contemplation. I didn't do something. <laughs> Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> um, how was the rest of the pottery? It's fun. You get like Good. little little dog eyes up here. <laughs> That's Tango. What's a Tango? That's me. <laughs> Hi. You're loud. Oh, I'm sorry. I just get excited. You don't That's have to okay. be sorry for being loud. You, you, you scared me a little. That's all. <laughs> Ryan, come say hi. You have a thing too. Yeah, who's Orion? Oh. Both fireflights were guides of slightly different kinds, I guess. Oh. Mm-hmm. Never needed one of those. I don't go anywhere. Why not? Because I Sound, stay here. Sounds relaxing. Mm. But, but, but there's all kinds of amazing, like, like, food out there. I get food here. Oh, that's cool. What else do you like? Do you like card games? What's a card game? Whoa! He comes like fucking. So oops. He comes uh, <laughs> <laughs> clomping like out of the water, vigorously splashing to get his deck of cards, and just flags him over. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I can show you. Tango will come to the edge of the water, but will not come out. Mm. On takes advantage of Dusk's brief distraction and kind of slow, slowly wanders away. <laughs> <laughs> not, not too far, but so they kind of have their own space and keeps eating. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I think and Bruno, this one is this. Yeah. Bruno will hop in and just be like, oh, hello, Tango. Ah. <laughs> you two know each other. He used to visit me. <clears throat> Did he? Mm-hmm. Aw. What do you mean? Well, when, when, he, when he went here, all the students visit me. Aw. So he, like, got a job here? Sort of. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Well, well, okay. And and then this card is this, and then this card is this, and this one is this, and then I mean, and this is how you play this game. So let's play. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, <laughs> beginner's luck. <laughs> Well, help you <laughs> oh, you went again? Oh, well, that was fun. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. You're a quick study. Mm. So, uh, what else do you like to do, huh? I swim. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't. Can you teach me how to swim? I never. Uh, mm. I think I swim different than you swim. How do you swim? I think Tango has a mermaid tail, and it just kind of. <laughs> Amazing! <Wow. laughs> Dusk is just dumbfounded. <laughs> he doesn't know whether to like chase him or run away right now and he's like <laughs> Dawn in, in the distance is like shaking out a pack of cigarettes 
They're all wet. Pulls one out. Oh, no. (laughs) Okay. Well, okay. So you work for the school, right? Yeah. Well, it's school's just kind of here, and so am I. But I, the pond is special because the lagoon is special because I'm here. Oh. Aw. This moment. That's cool. Is interrupted by a, a deep voice going, "Where is that little owl? <laughs> Why I haven't seen oh, him in years." Dear. <laughs> What was the name? Was it Bernard? Bernard, yeah. A stocky black bear walks in, dressed in an apron and slacks, big scar over his eye. Rune! Gloria told me you were back. Yes, I hear she uh, <laughs> she finally got the old, uh, uh, what do they call it, ball and chain on you? <laughs> Oh, yes, well, it was a long time coming. Come we on. all knew. <clears throat> yep, Give yep, your old yep. friend a hug. <laughs> it's just so <laughs> much bigger. <laughs> it's, it's like... <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking this little tiny owl. Oh. Yeah, it's like hugs his, big... hugs his leg, but then, of course, you pick him up and... Bear hug. <laughs> it, oh, you, my God. Uh, uh, yes. She puts you back down. <laughs> now, I I must say, I'm a little insulted that you didn't come and say hello before going off into the lagoon. Or I'm surprised you said hello before seeing Gloria. I uh, Gloria just happened to catch us. Um Yeah, we that was barely had a chance to get here. That was rather unintentional, and um, my friends are... Yeah. We're up to your old tricks again, Rune. <laughs> <laughs> I have done nary a trick in decades, uh, but my friends were very travel-worn, so we thought the lagoon was a perfect idea. Yes, yes, makes sense. I see you've all met Tango. Yes, yes he's really good indeed. at cards. I learned how to play cards. <laughs> you learned how to win at cards. You're a good teacher. Oh, thanks. I think you had some natural aptitude too. Oh, a good teacher, natural aptitude, it all goes together. And... Aww. Hear that, Orion? We're good at this. Yay. Oh, my goodness. Well, Just noticing Orion is like, I've never seen a firefly that shines purple before oh yeah yeah this is what orion does he, he oh does that's orion very thing. interesting yeah oh 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 and if you like that you'll like aurora uh, aurora 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 might be needed with don at the moment don looks over because they're not fully out of your shot uh... <laughs> And looks the other way and just starts going. Mm. <laughs> He's like, that guy seems like too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's he's almost unbearable. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> and that's minus 10 tokens. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, yeah, but then we have to calculate friends. negatives, I think. Uh, hmm? Oh, God. Well, introduce oh. me to your friends. Um, uh, the one who is uh, fleeing the scene is uh, is Dawn. Um, okay. The young one here is Dusk. Hi. Uh, the very talented poet here is Thierry. <laughs> well, thank you. And oh. the one sleeping on the bees is Don Donicello. Well, that's interesting. That. Mm. I've never seen a turtle sleeping on bees before, but I, I guess you see, can see some wild things sometimes. Uh, but you, you're a poet. I am, yes. Oh, what's who? Who was a uh, musical bent? But musical bent. Oh, well, fantastic. Then what's what's your favorite uh, saga? Oh, 
My favorite saga. Let's see. The problem is, is that there are so many good ones out there. Mm. This, this is true. I mean, who doesn't love a good saga? Ah, yes. <clears throat> but I think... The saga of, let's see, I'm trying to think how I want to phrase this. This is what happens at 11 at night, people. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, take your time, please. It's like 11 p.m., so yeah. brain slightly fries. Um, I would say my favorite saga would have to be that of Simran the Seeker. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, there once was a scholar here who was an expert on that particular saga. Really? Oh, yes. Fool of a man, honestly. The saga is great. The, the scholar, not so much. Rune, you met him once. You remember Bertrand? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Me and him had a rivalry that could last the ages. He looked down on my metal work. Can you believe that? Is that because you were brothers? Because you're Bernard and he's Bertrand and both are like... Strangely enough, no, though he was also a black bear. Mm. Oh. No relation. Ah. Yes. <laughs> no relation. <sighs> Just a resemblance. Just thinking about him is making my blood boil. Oh, we should we should change the subject. The saga. <laughs> what's what's your favorite part about the saga? I would have to say the part where Simran has reached the summit of the mountain and he's looking up into the sky at this great massive just city up in the clouds. And he takes that first step into that city. Oh, it's so inspiring. Every time I hear that part, it's... Oh. You have excellent taste, my friend. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Ah, well, but... I came to say hello to my old friend. I do have some things to be going. Got a, I have a class soon. <laughs> I'm still oh. teaching at my age. <laughs> but oh. uh, it was it was a pleasure to meet all of you. Say hello to your friend. That you know that possum looks oddly familiar. Anyway, I I must be off. Have a good a good afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I'll be in my class for the rest, my offices for the rest of the day after this class. So if you want to come and catch up, please do come by and say hello. Ooh, we'll see where uh, the day takes us. Uh, and Bernard slouches off into the distance. <laughs> oh. I like him. He's, he's fun. Oh, wait, nobody told me that, that the university place would be so much fun. Maybe I should go. Should I go? Uh, I recommend auditing a class before you decide if university is fun. Oh, okay. Okay. And find your, your interests. You have mm. to have, and you have to find that thing that would keep you coming back. What would you want to gain to, to learn from your studies you know it's more than just hey i'm gonna go to a university it's it's a lot of focused attention well, i mean that's what i did was just went hey i want to go to university hence hence why i did uh pottery and metalwork and ended up teaching philosophy and history of all things <laughs> That's the thing is, is you do, if you do go, you can find yourself there. Don't, oh. but don't settle yourself right from the get go. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, if something doesn't seem right, you need to move on. Be open. Oh, okay. Young past Jesse is hurting at those words. I know, it's like, this sounds so familiar. (laughs) (laughs) If only someone had told me before I spent all that money. Oh, my God. I struggled to be a psych major before I went into music. And then I just, between a lot of neurological issues, I just never finished. So. Yeah, I'm in glad university that we all at share 32. <laughs> I'm so glad we all share this story. Like it makes me happy and sad, but mostly happy. At least I managed to get away without a lot of debt because I dropped out early <laughs> the first time. Yeah, I was at a community college and had financial aid, so oh yeah, you know. <sighs> well, that helped. Anyway, back to the game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Though it was nice to hear. Uh, all of your stories about them. Mm-hmm. Oh, so. Pink Tango. Yes. Um. Um. So. Um. Wolfly was saying some things about a uh, 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 heaven knife, and she's like, "That's it." But then she didn't like continue about it. But now I'm like just really curious about it. And since you like work at the uh, university, like, can you tell us more? Mm, I think so. And then it dives down. What? Wait, you can't just run away. I was asking a question. The answer may yet come, but you have to, y- you got to give them a chance. Sometimes okay. you just need to wait a minute or two to ask. Okay. Dawn has like okay. snuck back up after <laughs> Bernard left. Uh, you like the last piece of muffin. No. <laughs> muffin. Any, any particular reason again. you dodged Bernard there? He looked familiar. Huh. I didn't want to talk to him. Oh no. He was so cool though. That is something Can I could learn from you, Don, here? is just avoiding conversations I don't want to be a part of. <laughs> it's my most useful skill. At least it's for me, impressive. myself, personally. <laughs> <laughs> Throws the wrapper for the moment. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why possums are so neat. They eat all the trash that nobody else wants. <laughs> More, more power to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I always thought that was a raccoon thing. Yeah. It's also mm-hmm. them, yeah. <laughs> but they wash it first, which is kind of cool. That's true. Um, I think Tango comes up with armfuls of stuff from the bottom of the lagoon and just spills it to the side. So which one's the 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 cloud um spork <laughs> i i would love to see a cloud spork actually i am also curious about this <laughs> um Wait, there's something called the cloud spork? Don missed the conversation. This thing is a big old spatula. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I was talking about it. I I think in all of the piles of stuff, there is what is effectively a Swiss army knife. And this is the heaven blade. <laughs> like, <laughs> because like, it can make anything. <laughs> Like actually, actually, or yeah, like, like basically a Swiss. Like it's 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 got like fifty different tools in it. It is a Swiss Army knife. <laughs> Definitely um, not what I thought we were doing. But, you know, perfect. You know. Perfect. <laughs> Including Don, a spork. <laughs> oh. Don like picks this thing up and goes, "Wait, this is the heaven split." Yeah, I think so. You know, I thought it would be a thing that I found scary, but this just seems useful. It is. That's the thing. It's it's a nice, it's useful. 
in he pulls the out ways a toothpick that... and <laughs> <laughs> it's been down there for a long time. Oh, Must be that's... pretty special though. It never rusted. Hmm. See, see. So why is this just sitting in the bottom of a lake? Oh. Mm. <laughs> People drop all sorts of things in here. Oh. It's those... very deep. <laughs> what are those things? <laughs> Points to like a pair of two sticks with handles and then another stick that has like tassels on the end kind of sitting in a pile together. Are you are you describing a devil stick? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I don't know. A student dropped that down here sometime. Are you guys not familiar with devil sticks? They were like a weird momentary fad in the nineties. I gotta look this up. <laughs> so you would have like two sticks and then another stick that had kind of tassels on it, and like they would like spin them around and throw them up and like do tricks with them. Yeah, oh, I learn something new every day. You're making me feel old. <laughs> to be fair, I'm making myself feel old. Fair enough. I've just never run into that before. I, I had a I had a me professor either. reference Crystal Pepsi and McDonald's selling pizza today. Or and wait, and, wait, wait. And no one else in my class knew about it, and I felt so old. I mean, Chad, some of that predates us. <laughs> well, McDonald's. No, no I had I ate pizza at McDonald's pizza. and Crystal Pepsi. I was like seven, eight years old. Didn't know either one of those were a thing. <laughs> Me either. Yeah, that was. Didn't. I think I vaguely remember hearing about Crystal Pepsi, but McDonald's pizza. No. I, <laughs> I only on know me. about it as a joke because it's a joke so often for like <laughs> people who were there. I never had either of those things. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways. Yes. So yeah, no devil six. Uh, there's a hacky sack down there for sure. I was just um, about to ask about it. Yeah, hundred percent. There's a hacky sack. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. So um, uh, a compass, but not like a direct, like a math compass, um, <laughs> and an abacus. Yeah. There we go. Those are some of the things that Tango pulled up from the bottom. Oh, weird. Don, Don puts down the heaven's blade and picks up the abacus and goes, we should probably take this. Dusk, what do you do? It's, you use it for math. What? It's a tool for counting. What? <laughs> We're going to use this to teach you some basic math. Do I want that? It's generally a useful thing to have. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why I enjoy Dusk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I enjoy that. <laughs> I mean, it's the same for me. Why do I enjoy a character who's occasionally just like, I just don't want to be around anybody, okay? <laughs> just leave me alone. I'm going to go out there and exit the scene until I'm ready just to come back. Mode. Just just I'm filming my album cover right now. Leave me alone. Yes. <laughs> Don is admittedly like the first character that I've like re I really, really badly want art of. <laughs> he would You're be pretty adorable. Time. I can see it. Mm -hmm. Um a depressed possum in a wide brimmed hat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aww. Little lightning dancer just like hugging him. Mm. Yeah. Mm. All right. Back to the game. Back to the game. <laughs> Again. <laughs> so uh okay, so that's the thing. And why is it here and this one the whole thing we don't talk about? I'm so confused. Hmm? What don't thing, you talk about? The thing we don't talk about. The, the rebellion uh, about re oh the rebellion the mm. yeah people talk about it it's just yeah but it makes us all sad so well, it was a difficult time 
This is Rune, not Tango. I really should learn how to do voices one day. Um, I, uh, I can tell you anything you'd like about it. I'm very well versed in it, but it is a very sad topic. Uh, yeah. Many of many of my students um, were lost during the rebellion. Yeah, it's it's fine if you talk about it, but I'm going to take a walk while you do. <laughs> oh, no, come on. You know, just for my own kind of self-care. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's not talk about it then. I know. You I should you know about it. It's important. It's just... It's not good for me to hear about that. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. So what does it have to do with the thing? And hmm? the... What does the cloud spork have to do with the pavilion? <laughs> uh, well, like many things, and Rune will pick it up and open it and pull, a, like, there's a sharp blade on it. Um, things that can be used as tools can also be used as weapons, and something sharp mm. can hurt. Um, but it can also, and he'll, like, grab, like, some moss or something from the edge of the lagoon and and cut some of it away and then there's like a little a little tango carved out of moss and sometimes they can make things wait okay okay what does this one do and it is a it is like a nail file. <laughs> a nail file? <laughs> I, I don't remember all the things in a specific Yeah, night, fair enough. I'm pretty sure it has that. It's just um, a, or it could be just a file in general. Like yeah. We're sanding mm. something. Yeah, mm. a file. Yeah. Um, oh, it's for uh, changing the finish of something, sharpening something. Um, it can do many things. Okay, what does this one do? That's a can opener. Okay. <laughs> what does this one do and why does it look broken huh uh oh I'm not sure that is oh, is that bad oh and the, That's the unfortunate. next it looks broken too huh Hmm, maybe we should take this to uh, Bernard. Good idea. Okay. You might have some ideas. Hey, Don. I think we're going to go see Bernard. Give him a... Oh, okay. I'll, I'll uh, see you guys later then. Yeah, I was going to say okay. give him some space. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, but here, take my cards in case you want to play with Tango. Tango want to play a game? Sure. I think they'll play a game, but uh, if everyone once everyone goes away, uh, I think Tango is going to ask, "What you thinking about?" That's a lagoon action. Mm. What you thinking about? <laughs> I'm thinking about my last encounter with Bernard. You know Bernard? Uh, yeah. We got in a scuffle during the rebellion. Oh. I uh did that. Oh. oh not. I don't think he's mad about it. Yeah, yeah, it's it was a misunderstanding we we figured it out at the time, uh, thankfully, but uh, I don't know. I can't. It's really difficult uh, interacting with anything from that part of my life. Mm. You know, Rune, Rune visited me lots, and once he told me that hard things are the things you should do the most. Uh, there's some wisdom to that, but it's. There are different kinds of hard things. Hmm. Say, I don't super enjoy card games. Do you want to go for a swim? Yes. 
And I think that's where we'll cut away from. Okay. Because <laughs> we got 20 minutes ish. Yeah. Do, do, do. Also, can someone else be Bernard? I am destroying. I kind of destroyed oh. my throat earlier. All right. I think I can handle that. We're going to try this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, but then you're not here at all. <laughs> yes. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, th- then Jesse's not here at all. Hi, my name is Jim. I'm Bernard's apprentice. I talk Hi, softly because <laughs> Jesse's trying not to destroy his throat right now. <laughs> <sighs> Rune, you came to visit after all. Uh, yes, uh, Tango pulled this up out of the, the bottom of the lagoon. Um, uh, dusk, dusk, show him what you saw. Okay, um, so so this one's a, the, the, a spork, and then this one's a can opener, and this one's a nail file, and then this one's broken, and then this one's broken, and can you fix it? Oh. Oh. I don't see why not. I'll start heating up the forge. Thanks, Jim. And uh, he'll... Do you, do you want to help? Oh, yeah. All right. He takes you under his arm and hauls you over and... Ah. Um, starts showing you tools and metals and he said, like, we, we got to match it here and, and looking at all sorts of stuff. And so find the one that looks like this. And... Okay. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. He's making a mess of his place, like throwing mm-hmm. things out, looking for one thing. Ah, is this it? Perfect. That's just right. <laughs> hey. Um, fits it to the metal and he starts shaping it. And then once the forge is ready, he starts going away at it hammer and tongs and all that fun stuff and hey dearie you should come jump on this thing it's like making the flames bigger it's fun (laughs) those are called bellows son yep cool oh and how you do it you gotta keep the pace even so that the uh so that the air will keep the flame strong, oh. but at just the right balanced temperature. Oh. Too hot and you melt stuff, but just right. Wow. Darius is smart. Did you go to college too? <laughs> I've seen a lot. I spent some time in college, but I've also kind of just learned a lot of what I know from experience. Hmm. Real road scholar, huh? Pretty much. <laughs> Is it done yet? Just about. I'm getting the slobber ready. The what? <laughs> the, the slobber. The what? Like, like the thing that the Donna Shell is doing right now. <laughs> I mean, that's that's that, that's more of a drool, but uh, similar. Yeah, this water is the slobber from the slobbering god. That still exists. I mean, what? yeah, there's lots of small gods around. Do you think it was just suddenly gone? Um, what's a slobbering god? It's, well, in this case, a not so small golden, or no, uh, it's not gold. It's Steve not a golden Bernard, retriever. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's a pretty big white and black and brown dog. Just oh. slobbers so much. Yeah. But the slobber is really good. 
at helping to insert whatever we're doing the water to <laughs> hot metal dust. Yeah. <laughs> I quenching it. Cooling. Yeah. Quenching. Quenching yeah. sword. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, we, we don't see the slobbering god much anymore, but uh, the pool's always full when we come in in the morning. Oh. It is really convenient. Otherwise, we'd have to get the water from the well and, you know, we get like at least three more tasks done for not having to do that constantly. Plus, it's not nearly as good as this stuff is out of the well. Oh, oh, is it magic? Because it's like from a oh, uh, slobbering god? Probably. We think so. Oh. I'm not a priest. Um. <laughs> and then he puts the heaven blade in and it sizzles doesn't smell great <laughs> well no Aww. that's normal Ew. but he pulls it out and the broken thing was a bandsaw ah. <laughs> <laughs> that is very good thank you Shad. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there's a bandsaw. <laughs> Full circle, y'all. <laughs> Never miss the callback opportunity. Never. <laughs> nope. This is why me and Chad are friends. <laughs> Along with several other reasons. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. That's cool. Hmm. What? So... Do we keep it or do we give it back? It's a to fine mending job, though. I, it being an artifact, I think it should be kept in in. I think it should be kept in safekeeping. Oh yeah, I mean that's why it's in the lagoon usually. Tango protects it. He's. The, the guardian of the lagoon. Mm-hmm. Like a, a magical creature that makes sure everyone is safe and offers opportunities to heal. And Bernard, did you not tell them about the lagoon? <laughs> oh. I, I, I thought Gloria did. We I did no haven't... such thing! Prune! Good <laughs> the last of you! <laughs> Long Hey, well, you saw on. them first. <laughs> Hello again, Gloria. Hello, indeed. Ma'am. Mm. Mm. Ma'am. Mm. So, Jim says. Yeah, Jim <laughs> says, ma'am. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll deal with you later. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ben, uh, Jim is a gecko, by the way. I just realized we didn't specify. <laughs> okay. Excellent. That's amazing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I imagine it's like a ma'am, maybe from like the roof. Like man, <laughs> <laughs> wait. Deal with me. Mm-hmm. You know what you did. I saw the glitter. I know where it comes from. I know who forges those glitter flakes. I'm looking at you. I. You don't mm. forge glitter. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. That's what they all say. And you know I don't get along with Reginald. Hmm. How did you know it was Reginald? Because poor Edmund came in and I had to help clean him off. Hmm. Slobber's oh. good for that too. <laughs> it was all in his fur and everything. He's going to have glitter on him for months. Mm. Oh no. Mm, I like this story. Mm. But I don't know. Glitter's kind of cool though. So. Mm. Like. So. Mm. I see you are. Uh, you finished the the tale without me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know that's property of the school, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the property of Tango. I beg to differ. He he, he was here before the school. Mm, well, some would agree, some don't. <laughs> Charter even says that Tango allows them to use the place as the school. Well, Tango and I have an understanding. 
Do you now? We do. Yes. And uh, no, I, I don't want to know. It's none of my business. <laughs> um, I'm going to start cleaning up with a forge. <laughs> That's the best you do. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Gloria, you asked us to fire this the other day. Ah. It's like an immaculate hedgehog <laughs> sculpted out of clay. Oh, it turned wow. out pretty well, I think. Pretty well? That is a masterpiece, you impudent I, I meant the firing. I... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. I especially like what you did with the glaze on the quills. It makes oh. it, give it gives it real depth. Oh, oh. Mm. Consider yourself dealt with. Thank you. <laughs> Jim hands it over and retreats. <laughs> Jim is a smart, smart gecko. <laughs> yeah, really. Well, well I, I suppose we should return to Tango then. Mm. Mm. Drama club. No. Mm. Yes, <laughs> I um believe they might be looking for a little bit of um, what do they call it? Oh, you know the words. You're so good with words. What is it? <sighs> Payback. Yes. Oh. And I feel like we should end here. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of wanted to end it on a cliffhanger. <laughs> And part of next episode is going to be somebody describing what the rest of this, <laughs> the time at the Crucible looks like. Yep, yep, yep. All oh, right. That's uh, delightful. Excellent. Uh, Thank you so much, guys. That was fantastic. Mm-hmm. You bet. Yeah. A little yeah, more lighthearted than the last one. I voice. think it was good. Yeah. Oh, man, that last one. Uh, I told Trisha that I, I like to like listen to these sessions because it's like being read a bedtime story for two hours it just <laughs> such a peaceful place so that last one was a little dark this was great <laughs> <laughs> excellent Yay. all right thank you very much i will uh, close the stream down now thank you thank you everyone bye everyone